Hi Pam, this is Stacy. I'm going to show you how to, or how I would create this photo book cover example in InDesign. And this this is actually going to be one of the harder ones to recreate and blur, but it, it can be done. Um, in, I am in InDesign and I'm using the, the blur plugin, so it has all the margins and everything already established for us. And so I'm just going to use the type tool and then I'm going to select the text that I want and then the size but overextended here so let's see if we can do a different one let's try And then we're going to play with the spacing a bit too much. So this is the vertical alignment or the leading one. And actually I'm going to cut this out of the text box and make another text box here. Um, so with InDesign, you can position these however you want, and you're not going to, you know, in Blurb, they give you the warning. Um, they actually don't, I don't think they allow you to bleed over the page. But here in InDesign, you can, and just quickly, you can see how that's going to shape out when it's actually printed, and you can, you know, kind of adjust um, the margins. This is for an image wrap book. Um, so there, there are no flaps. And then what I would do is add a photo. And I, I haven't sized a photo appropriately here, but I think I'm going to use, this is just one I quickly found. Um, it was one of my film shots. And so I'm going to come in here and do a size to fit. Going to uh, with right click send to back, and then we can make the text a different color. So we can make it white, or we could also. It, uh, gray, so that's a very light gray. Maybe we could make it even a little darker. Now this one may not work as well because this portion on her dress, this, this is such a light area, so that one doesn't work. So yeah, that one's kind of tricky. This is a kind of tricky image. But we can always then move to something like this and have it go back to the gray. And then I'm going to do just a regular box. And I'm going to fill it with this dark color. And then click send it back, right click, send it back. Um, something else I have done before is I can just copy and then paste this again. Oops. So I'm going to do that and send it back. Move that off the board. And then I can kind of scale it up. So that I'm just getting kind of a textured background there. And this way you kind of have, you know, the 2012 on one side of your, on the front cover, family on the back, uh, with just one image. It's not quite spanning the entire book cover. 
and then you can come in with a smaller font. <clears throat> Let's see. For this one, I'll just use Century Gothic at 18 and a white. It's gray. Flip, and I'm going to line it up here. Yeah. And I've got the, it's hard to see here, but I have the black edge right here. And then I'm going to select the font again and center it, and then center it, oops, ah, sorry. I'm going to center it vertically as well, so it's directly in the center of the book. <clears throat> and then that is how the, the cover would look. Now again, your spine is going to be right here, so it's kind of hard to see, but like this, like that may be what the actual front cover looks like. Um, so it's not, this isn't a perfect design by any means, but it just will show you how to kind of translate. And again, you could always you know, move this down um, and, I don't know, play around with it. A, a better image would probably make it easier, but that shows how to um, offset your text. So, in InDesign. I hope that helps for you. All right.